doing? Uh, no, but the reason why is not that these aren't nice phones. These are these look very nice, and I just got them. Uh, they're very customizable. They have, as you mentioned, Google's new Tensor chip, which enables a lot of things. The reason they're not an iPhone killer just off the bat is Apple's very tricky to take customers away from. And that's because they create this ecosystem of products, uh, the Apple Watch, AirPods, Mac, iPad, that are all what I call and what the industry says are sticky products, right? So you you buy the Apple Watch and it only works with an iPhone. So why would you then replace your iPhone with a Google phone? You wouldn't do that because you've got the Apple Watch. And so that's what Google's up against. But Google's also up against its own partners. Uh, it licenses Android. It's a big money maker for them uh, outside of advertising to people like or companies like Samsung. And so at the same time that it's licensing software to Samsung, all over the world, helping Android run on 3 billion devices, so far more than the 1 billion iPhones, it's now competing uh, more aggressively against Samsung. And so that's the tricky thing here with these phones, just no matter how great they are. And they, and they do make good phones. It, it's touting the software features as well. How do they compare to iPhone? So really similar in the sense that like, it's Android, not iOS, but you get Google's ecosystem instead of Apple's. Uh, so a lot of things that come preloaded are like YouTube and Gmail versus, you know, iMessage and things that you get on an iPhone. But what Tensor does that makes this so much different is it does a lot of machine learning in the background. That's sort of fancy talk for just computing that Google felt it couldn't do previously with Qualcomm processors. And so it can do things like translate, as you mentioned, it can remove things from photos. And the big thing is to take better pictures and better video, which is what Google's trying to do uh, better than anybody else on the market. That's their goal, and that's where we'll be chasing Apple the most because really what drives people to buy new phones are cameras, battery life, and screens. You betcha. Todd Hazleton, thanks a lot.